All right, people, welcome back. Today, it is a special day. Realm has just been fully revealed. Now, by fully revealed, I'm, I'm talking about how he looks like, his story, and so on. I'm not talking about his cards or talents, although the Animines have already proved to us what he's going to have. All right, sort of his kit. We're still going to have more information coming out, but even so, this video came out today. It is on Twitter as of right now. Already has 4.5 thousand people have watched the video so there you you can see this is nothing new but for the people who don't follow twitter you definitely want to see this and i'm gonna see it with you i haven't seen it this is gonna be the first time i, I see the video so let's just jump into it Desperate for a solution. No matter the cost. They turn to us. They always do. And they always regret it. No man can control the abyss. No man can control wrong! Holy shit. <laughs> I already knew how Realm looked like, and I mentioned this a few times before, but god damn, that presentation is beautiful. I, I Let me just go back here for a second. So, just for the people who don't understand, Many people have said this guy is Androxus. This is not Androxus. In no way whatsoever would ever evil Mojo go back in time now to talk about the story of Androxus. Androxus is already in game. They were presenting stuff that it's to come to the game. They would have never done an entire story just for Androxus. And then, oh yeah, just by the way, we also have a character named Rom. He's coming into the game, but you know, screw the, screw the story about that character. Let's just talk about Androxus. This was never Androxus, all right? And it may look like he freed Rom, but uh, Rom is actually supposed to take over this guy, unless, you know, they actually decide to go with a different story where maybe he actually just unleashed him, all right? But here's the thing. If he unleashes him, right, why would Ceres not do it by herself? Ceres needs... A vessel so the realm can walk the earth and we do get to see a circle on some of the arts let me go here really quick here if you go here into the stuff that they show us there is one that shows us like a circle of transmutation or whatever there it is all right so right here what would this even be for right a portal but this is on the abyss itself this is like the power, represents the power of Ram and so on. And Ram needs a vessel just like the Abyssal Lord needed for Ceres. You know, that's how Ceres was born. I'm not seeing Ram actually walking the earth. I'm seeing this guy. I'm trying to get to the picture here. Can I open picture? Uh, it's really small, but he, he's going to have a machine gun. All right. He's going to have the horn in the, the shoulder, as I mentioned before. I'm not entirely sure if his arm is inside the machine gun. The machine gun, though, reminds me of the machine gun, the minigun. It, it's, let's call it a minigun. It's a, it reminds me of the minigun of actually Ram Royale. I actually have a recording of today of looking into some things. If I could just go really, really quick there. Here it is. All right. So, in the game, when she reloads, there's even these little like symbols on the minigun. And I'm thinking, why? maybe they put the minigun in here in the first place because they wanted to bring it for uh, Rum. And some of you may even say, oh, come on, Creepers, that's impossible. That's not impossible. Dude, listen, they came up with the revolver for the fallen angel and Droxus in Rum Royale before Paladins. All right, before the skin was even announced, they had the same revolver. It's the standard revolver Ram Real right now. It's the revolver of the Fallen Androxus. So there you have it, right? This is the lower part of Ram. Still a lot of people are confused. This is the minigun. All right, pretty straightforward. He just needed help, basically. All right, and Cyrus just said, you know what? I can help you, but you have to become a vessel. I'm going to give you a weapon. Ram's spirit or power is going to 
flow through you and you're going to become like the new Ram. Or Ram is just going to take over you like a puppet. You know, because Ceres, maybe when Furia killed the Abyssal, like the Abyssal uh, Lord Drogos, maybe Ceres is now free, but she still has an idea because she can see the future and so on. And now she's doing what she pleases. And she wants the free realm. She wants realm to walk the earth like with the puppet that is this guy now. You know, maybe it's that. Now, that's pretty much it. Realm Rage of the Abyss changes his way into the realm Rage of the Abyss. I'm guessing this may be the title. I don't know. The Abyss cannot be escaped. Okay. There's also one more thing that they also published. And uh, yesterday I forgot to mention one. So if you go here, this is Khan. This is the new skin for Khan. Pretty straightforward. You can see by the, the shape, that's Khan. All right. Wanted for safe cracking, head cracking, improper use of explosives, destruction of government property, destruction of government officials, spitting on the sidewalk. Okay, so you have that one, and that's con pretty much. As a young, younging, you might have heard pterodactyls about Dynamite Dan having slog a man so hard he saw into the other realm. A cattle rust the size of the steer, you best leave this one to proper authorities. I don't understand that text, but sure, whatever. This one, some people believe that it is Strix or it is actually Lex. It could be one of both. I'm not entirely sure which the skins are for the Battle Pass. This is the one that I forgot to mention yesterday. I said that it was two. At the moment that I was editing, this was released, all right? I'm guessing this should be like the Strix because of the Phantom Hand. But as far as I'm concerned, it could be you know, Lex as well. This is Tyra, pretty straightforward. A lot of people are saying that it's Leon, but there is a golden skin for Tyra to come, and usually they release a skin for that champion together in the Battle Pass. This is all for the Battle Pass. And when is this Battle Pass gonna come? Some of you may actually wonder, so we're just gonna hop into the game really quick. Again, uh, we finally have Realm completely revealed. Uh, press, you know, drop a like if you enjoy, if, if, what do you if you like Realm. What are you expecting of this guy? Because this guy is going to be a tank. And Tigran is coming after. Because that was another thing that a lot of people were saying. Oh, Tigran is the same as, as Rum. No, it's not. Tigran was supposed to come out now. But unfortunately, due to some problems, it had to be, you know, pushed to the future. In case you remember one of the arts of the cars, one of the arts that they published as a teaser, there was Tigran, the little statue. That was Tigran right there. Maybe the story was supposed to go to Grom would show up after I.O., but due to some problems, they needed to change it. And now he comes first and Tigran comes after. Maybe there's no problem, you know, with a story going like that. But for those who are wondering when is the next Battle Pass coming, just get in game like I'm doing right now and go to the Battle Pass. This can be done at any time. That's why I'm doing it right now so you guys can see it because a lot of people are going to have problems. I'm trying to understand what I'm saying. Let's go to the Battle Pass and check out how many time it is left. And there it is. 29 days left. It is currently today is day 8. So, you know, by the 9, 10, 8 of the next month, we should have the next patch, realm and everything up. Now, as for when it's actually going to be the, the showcase, it should be day 16, if I'm not mistaken, because they usually do it always on a Wednesday. And it's not going to be tomorrow. Or is it? I mean, it could be. Maybe it is tomorrow. I'm actually confused. If you guys know when, when this is it, this is going to be, let me go right here really quick. Does it say here when it's going to be? It doesn't. It doesn't actually tell us. I'm actually confused. Is it supposed to be next Wednesday or tomorrow? It could be tomorrow. I'm, I'm actually legit confused. All right, guys, just before the video ends, I forgot to actually to put this th there. So it's I'm going to add it in the middle so you guys don't just click out of the video. I noticed one thing now is that on the thumbnail, I downloaded the thumbnail. You can see Saris and the guy over there. So I'm guessing maybe this is not actually the guy. He just opened the portal for him to come out. But I'm still interested. Why the hell did Saris not do that herself? It's not really understandable. I really can't understand. But even so, that, I mean, the guy's there. So unless there's some sort of a story that it's not being told right now, there you have it. Also, these should be the little souls he's going to collect, the little skull. So when you shoot people, maybe they drop these little skulls and you can just collect them to self-heal. That should be nice. Look at that minigun. Holy shit. That looks awesome. That looks so awesome. 
it's possible to be tomorrow even so guys that's pretty much it um i hope you guys enjoyed it. and uh if you want to see this video on your own i'm just gonna drop the link in the description i'm gonna put it there and you check it out for yourselves that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time and until then have a wonderful time bye bye guys